When I first saw his work, I didn't know that much about him. But oh, uh, over the years, I've read, uh, you know, a lot. And he is just, he was a, a totally fascinating person and kind of an enigma. And uh, honestly, I think one of the reasons why we all love him so much was the kind of stance that he took vis-a-vis -vis the art world. You know, he just like, uh, he refused to ingratiate himself to, to anyone. You know, he, he lived in poverty his whole life. I, what, I don't know. I think that's, that's, um, I, I'm, I'm, um, you know, when I went to India, when I went to Calcutta, I learned the word renouncer, which I, I'd never used before, but I, I learned it in India. And uh, I think it refers to people who give up everything at some stage in their life and they become, they beg for food and, and so on. And, um, and I would apply that word, that word to Hujar. I think he was, he was a total renouncer of uh, any kind of like, you know, the fruits of, of fame and he could have had fame, but he, he was so held, I think, by the kind of, you know, the institutional institution of the art world and, you know, having, you know, to curry favor with people 